Just a little over two months ago, I bought this eSun vacuum bagging kit to put my PLA filament reels into vacuum bags to try to keep them dry. Um, I had them for two months, I needed to print something in PLA, so I went and got one. Two months ago, I sealed all of my PLA filament into these eSun vacuum bags. And I just recently got this out, and when I did, the desiccant packet had turned blue, so it had absorbed a lot of water. Um, the vacuum seemed pretty good, and I just threw it in my printer and printed it, and uh, these parts came out just fine. So the filament was perfectly fine for printing, but I did have the desiccant packet turn blue. Um, so I went and looked at all the rest of them, and if you look at these guys, they've all turned from the orange, which means they're dry, to kind of darker green or blue, which means they've been absorbing water. So I don't know if there's a little bit of leakage coming in, or if all that water vapor is being pulled out of my filament, because my filament had been in my garage in high humidity weather for years and years before this. So it certainly has an opportunity to get a lot of water vapor in here. Now if you look at this, the vacuum seems to be solid on most of these bags. Some of them are a little looser than others. You know, like these two, you know, it's a little bit looser, but it seems like there's still a pretty good vacuum in most of these guys. So it, it looks to me like the vacuum is holding and most of these um, desiccant packets are probably pulling the water from the filament. So what I'm going to do is break the seal on these bags. I'm going to throw the um, filament in my dryer for a couple of hours. I'm going to microwave these guys. You can see how dark that is. This one I've already microwaved to dry it out. So I'm going to microwave all these guys. I'm going to put them back in and then I'll come and check them again in a couple of months. So this has been microwaved for a couple of minutes to get the water out. This one has water in it. I like setting these guys upright so that both sides of these slots are free. Alright, so there's a minute. You can see all of the condensation that's building up on the inside of these um, little cases. Alright, after two minutes total, you can see there's a lot of water sitting around here. These are quite hot. Um, you don't want to hold on to them for very long at all. Um, I'm going to let them sit for probably a couple of minutes to cool down and um, just leave the door open to let all that condensation come out. You can see that some of them are getting more orangey, they're less dark, um, but I'll probably have to hit them for another minute here in the microwave after about a 15 minute break to let all of this water kind of get out of there. All right, out of the microwave, some of these guys are yellow-green, some of them are blue-orange, but you can see they've all been uh, dried out. I'm using this USB charge battery operated ANOVA precision handheld vacuum sealer. I found it's a lot easier than the included hand pump with the vacuum bags. So you can see this procedure takes a while. Um, if you burp the bag first, it takes a little less time. But when you're done, you've got a pretty strong vacuum seal here. We have the desiccant packet inside there, and it's currently orange. You can see it's actually kind of bending the desiccant packet. I might have put a little more vacuum than I really should have there. Um, but we're going to put it away and check it in a couple more months. So if you compare these guys to when I had them in the garage for two months, you can see that these are much tighter. 
Now I did pull a real hard vacuum here, um, but it does look like a little bit of vapor or gas had gotten into these over the two months. And I'm not sure if that's just leaking through the plastic or if there was water, liquid water in the PLA that turned into vapor and took up more space inside the bag. Um, when I did this two months ago, this kit, the eSun kit, comes with 10 bags, it comes with a little handheld vacuum pump, and it comes with little desiccant packets. And in the cover, they're blue colored, and these desiccant packets here are still blue colored. So I sealed these in here. It feels like it's got a pretty good vacuum on it still. These guys are still blue. I don't know if these guys change color or not. Um, but it's possible that if you seal a desiccant in this bag without the filament in there, it will just stay dry. So what I'm going to do for testing for the next two months is I'm going to take one of these desiccant packs, I'm going to stick it in this bag, I'm going to seal it up with nothing else in there, and leave it with these guys. And we'll see if the bag protects this guy from getting water in it. So we'll be able to figure out if the water that we see in these is coming from the filament or coming from outside. Okay, as my control, I'm going to vacuum seal this just discant box in here. Um, I'm going to be using the provided handheld vacuum pump. So I do recommend using a battery-operated vacuum pump like the Innova one. It's a lot easier. Luckily for me, there's not as much air in here because I don't have a full thing of filament. So uh, we'll just go by hand here. have a leak. Let's see. Maybe I just need to pump a lot more. Alright, so next time I get PLA filament out, I'll give it another check.